Hi! Today's video is just kind of a quick and exciting announcement for you. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, officially, I am finally getting my Florida trip this year. I have mentioned it in passing before um, in other videos, so I mean you might have already kind of known, um, but I just wanted to pop on and just say the full story about it really. So um, we had, we're going in May, I'm going with my boyfriend, um, who you'll have seen on here before in other videos, but uh, we're going for two weeks in May this year. We had originally been supposed to go back in 2020 and obviously that fell through. And then we were supposed to go in 2021 and that also fell through. So we're finally going now in 2022, which is very exciting. And we're going to go for two weeks, as I said, in May, which is getting really close. Um, as I'm filming this today, I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload this, but today is the 40 day countdown. So that's amazing. Like we haven't managed to get this close to it yet. So that's, oh, it's so exciting. I don't wanna jinx anything. I feel like, I feel like I should still expect it to be canceled, but I'm not going to even, I'm not going to jinx that. So we are going to be staying on site at Disney World. We're going to be doing all the Disney World parks, um, the four and then whatever water parks might be open as well. I know they're a bit kind of funny at the moment, but whatever's open, we will be doing. And we're also going to do two days at Universal, which is so cool. I'm so excited. That wasn't in the original plan because it was just a little bit over budget for us. Um, but with all the extra time, <laughs> We can, we can add those two days in. So that's gonna be very exciting. And um, yeah, I mean, there isn't really like a huge amount to say about it because neither of us have ever been before. Um, I've been to Disneyland Paris a few times, but my boyfriend's never been to any of the Disney parks around the world. So it'll be really exciting to be with a complete newbie, but like, I mean, Disney World is like a whole other, a whole other ball game, so. I think we'll both pretty much be complete newbies at this, but um, I'm very excited. I've been watching all the videos online and following all the Instagram accounts and everything. So I feel like I have an idea of what to expect and how to do it. And I'm just really excited to finally get there. Um, so there will be vlogs. So you can hit subscribe and hit the bell as well because then you'll get a notification because obviously it'll be later in the summer when those vlogs go up, but at least if you hit the bell, you won't miss them. So um, I went shopping the other day for more summer clothes because I have like no summer clothes because I live in Ireland for anybody who doesn't know and we don't really get like super good summers. Um, we do get nice weather and we might get like a week of nice, like really warm weather. Um, so I just don't have summer clothes, like I don't have a two weeks holiday worth of summer clothes. So I went shopping the other day and I got some stuff. So I'm gonna just do like a little mini haul to kind of finish up the video here um, and just show you a few things. I was really hoping I'd have like loads of my holiday shopping list done to show you at this point, but I really don't. So I'll just show you a couple of nice bits I got in the shops the other day. And that's about it for today then. Okay, so I got a few things in pennies, and thank God for pennies, because my God, where would we be for holiday clothes without pennies? I'd be stuck, I'd, no, <laughs> I would have nothing. So I got these little yellow shorts. Um, they're actually quite thin when I tried them on, they're a little bit, a little bit on the see-through side, so um, I might not wear them, but I think I'll probably just bring them, just to have like a backup pair of shorts, because they're in a nice, really comfy material, they'd be really lightweight, so. Probably just bring them just to half, but they probably won't be worn all the time. And then I got just like a vest top, um, just one of the normal pennies ones. And this in like a really nice, it's kind of coming up a little bit brighter on camera, but it's sort of like a sage green, which is really pretty. And I love that. So I'll be able to wear that just like a basic top to go with shorts or whatever. And then, <laughs> this is exciting, I have like a whole outfit devoted to Stitch <laughs> because I love Stitch. So I've got Stitch shorts. So look at them there, doing a little doing a little headstand, being a little cutie. And then I have a Stitch t-shirt as well. So there he is doing his little poses. 
and I'm going to wear the two of these together. I am absolutely wearing the t-shirt and the shorts together because how can you not? And I'm going to walk right up to Stitch and I'm going to be like, look. So, can't wait to wear this. And plus, this is actually like, this is really cute. I'm going to wear this like with jeans and stuff at home too. So, um, my two tops are in an extra small, which in pennies is a size six to eight. And that fits me quite well. So that's a good size for me there. And then my shorts, what size did I go for? I went for a small, I think in both of them, um, which is a size 10 to 12 in pennies terms. So I like to size up a little bit in shorts because I find shorts just get really uncomfortable. I know they're not supposed to. <laughs> I think that's just the way I'm built, but I just find like anything kind of restricting or tight around my waist is just really uncomfortable for me and really uncomfortable, especially in the heat. So I made sure to give myself a little extra room around the, around the waistband there because I will just be absolutely miserable if I bloat in the heat. <laughs> and then I've got these horrible shorts on me, constricting me. So. Uh, Probably more information than you were looking for in a haul, but there you go. And then the other thing I got, I got in Zara and I like, I just went, I never shop in Zara because I never come out with anything. So I've just stopped bothering. But I was like, do you know what? No, I'm going in. I'm gonna just do a lap and I'm gonna see if I can find anything. So I did a lap, I tried on a few things and I did only buy one thing. Um, but it was actually, funnily enough, the thing I kind of tried on ironically I thought it was a bit funny. Um, not like, <laughs> I mean, it was a cohort set, okay. It was a cohort set with like the top and the bicycle shorts and it's very eye-catching. I was like, I should just try that on just for the lols because you know, sometimes you surprise yourself. Um, I surprised myself, <laughs> I actually really liked it. I didn't buy the bicycle shorts because they were just a little bit thin. So, you know, a little bit clingy. Um, but I bought the top, but the top is actually like really pretty. Look at that. It's like this little crop top. Get that big tag out of the way. It's like this little crop top with a lemon pattern on it. It's so cute. And like, it just fits really nicely and it'd be really nice and bright and colorful for the sun. So like, yeah, <laughs> that was bought. And it was only like, what, 12.50, I think? 12.95 for, a top and Zara, I think that's fairly good pricing. Like if it was any more than that, I probably wouldn't have bought it, but I figure for 12 95, it's, it's very pretty. So I got it. So look at me stepping outside my comfort zone. So proud of myself. And then the penny stuff, I didn't tell you the prices on them. The uh, stitch shorts were five euro. The yellow shorts were three euro, I think. Yeah, three euro for the yellow shorts. The little vest top is 250, what a bargain, 250. And then the stitch top was six euro. They did also have a stitch hoodie and a stitch sleep mask, but I, I thought I should probably draw the line somewhere and not get those as well. <laughs> But I might change my mind on that because <laughs> I will probably use a sleep mask on the plane. You know, it's a long flight, so could have like a full travel outfit there, you know? Okay, so that's about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon with another one. Bye.